Welcome to WTDC 17 here in Buenos Aires, Argentina, where I'm very pleased to be joined in the studio today, Mr. Shola Taylor, who's Secretary General of the Commonwealth Telecommunications Organization. Shola, great to see you in the studio. Thank you very much, as usual. I'd like to start off by asking you a little bit about the, the theme for this year's conference, WTDC 17, is ICTs for SDGs. How does this theme resonate with your members? Well, um, one of the reasons why we're here at, at CTO is because the theme resonates very deeply with our members. Uh, as a matter of fact, the um, 2030 Development Agenda, Sustainable Agenda, was one of the factors that drove the strategic plan of the CTO. We actually use that as one of the inputs as we find it very valuable. Our members have seen the um, value in the use of ICTs in applications in agriculture, in education, in health, and constantly we're in touch with them, you know, responding to their needs. But the important thing is that we see the theme as responding to the needs of our members. So that's very important for us. Now, you represent a wide spectrum of members, uh, both in develop and developing countries. What specific challenges are your members facing in integrating ICTs into their development agenda? Well, the Commonwealth of Nations uh, comprises 52 co uh, countries and uh, with a population of 2.2 billion. Now, 60% of these are less than at the age of 30. Uh, basically, almost half do not have access to internet. So one of the big challenges we have is how do we get all of these um, half a billion, billion people who have to be connected to the internet. One is investment. We need investment very badly. Secondly, we also need good regulations. We need good policies. We need um, policies to drive the investment. Universal service frameworks. We've had it in many countries, but are they working? We're trying to see how we can review these frameworks to better meet the needs of our members. And uh, we're constantly looking at uh, the programs we have. We have what we call a member action plan, whereby for each country, we actually look at what the needs are, because the needs vary from country to country. And we try to respond to the very needs of our member countries. And what regulatory and policy measures do you think uh, needs to be put in place in order to bring connectivity on a, a global scale, let's say, to the next billion? Well, the challenge for us is, first of all, to understand the needs of our members. The needs vary from country to country. But what we see, most important thing, is that we need to have policies that addresses uh, the needs of, of our members. Uh, issues like cyber security, for example, issues like cyber crime, cyber standards. Our countries want to develop broadband. They need to have the right speed. What speed do they have? What speed do they need to provide? How do they need to define the speed for hospitals, health clinics, educational institutions, rural uh, populace as a whole? So we, we are constantly looking at the policies, regulations in countries, spectrum, for example. How do you ensure that uh, our countries use the spectrum efficiently? Quality of service. We need to ensure that the populace have access to good quality of service. And all those kind of issues, the environment, how do we respond to the issue of climate change? How does ICC help? Uh, so constantly we are looking at all these issues. And depending on the countries, we provide advice on policy and regulatory issues. Finally, at the end of this conference, what concrete steps do you hope will be taken? Well, uh, for us, it's important that ITU should focus, ITUD in particular, should focus on its mandates. We want to see concrete plans. We want to see actions, which also resonate with the kind of thing that, you know, that we're doing. We have a very strong partnership with the ITU. So we want to see outcomes that will define new partnerships, to strengthen the current partnerships, to ensure that the programs we have in the countries are actually responding to the needs of the countries. Shola Taylor, thank you very much indeed. Thank you very much. Good.